What's up guys? My name's Kronk and I'm coming to you here from the extra spooky Halloween Casino 1 lobby and today I'm going to show you guys how to shoot the dice and craps. Before we start guys, if you like PokerStars VR, definitely check out my channel. I got tons of videos and content that I'm sure you'll love. Without further ado, let's hit the craps table. Alright guys, I'm at the craps table. I just bought in. I'm going to go ahead and put a quick little bet on the pass line here. I'm going to hit the check mark to let them know we're good to go. All right, so when it's your turn to shoot, you're gonna get to choose two dice from this wheel right here. You're gonna wanna take your throwing hand, whether that's right or left, you're gonna grab your first dice, and then you say, oh, I like the red one down there. You're gonna take your first dice, and you're gonna push it up against your second dice, while still holding down the trigger. Now you're the shooter, now you've got your dice, and what you're gonna wanna do is aim straight down the table, straight down the come line, you're gonna wanna throw it right down the middle, just like that. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and put another small bet on the pass line there. Once you have the dice in your throwing hand, the key to a proper shoot, like I said, is aiming straight down the middle and following your arm straight down the middle as well, and then releasing right at the end. Give these a little kiss. So like I said, guys, straight down the middle, releasing at the very end of your throw, and you should be good to go. Let's try it again. There we go. And as you can see, even if you do it straight down the middle, it might not exactly show it hitting straight down the middle, but the throw should go through. All right, we get to pick some new dice. Let's go with the red and the green. If this helps, guys, picture a big yellow bar running down the table, and you basically want to stick your arm in that bar and throw right down the middle. All right, let me show you guys an example of what not to do. When you're throwing down the middle, you don't want to throw it too far up or it's going to go over the table, just like this. Okay, so I threw it down the middle and it went pretty straight. But it went way over the table, so that doesn't count. All right, let's try that again. We'll do the same throwing motion, except we're gonna aim for the back of the wall. Right down the middle, and we are releasing at the end of the throwing motion, and we are getting the job done. Once you get used to throwing it straight down the middle and you get consistent hits, you get a little more fancy with it like this. And there you go. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of funny stuff you can do with the dice once you get good at throwing it. But the key is to always make sure you're throwing it straight down the middle and releasing the dice at the end of your throw. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm in a middle seat now. I want to go ahead and show you how that works real quick. It's really not too much different from being on the opposite side of the table. If anything, it might be a little easier. All right, we have bought in with our chips. We are good to go. We're going to go ahead and place a bet on the pass line. Like I said, guys, you're going to want to grab the dice with your throwing hand. So you grab your first dice there. And then whatever other dice you want, you're just going to take this dice and push it right into it. And there you go. So depending on what part of the middle you're on, it's going to make you shoot against the furthest wall. So I'm kind of to the right here, and it's making me shoot to the left. All right, so I took a little too long to roll that time, so it did an auto roll, but I'm going to show you guys how it looks from this angle right here. We're grabbing our dice, we're aiming for the far wall, and we're hitting it straight down the middle. There you go. That's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, you just want to aim it right down the middle, you're going to want to have a late release and you should be good to go. That about wraps it up for this video, guys. If you found this helpful, definitely let me know down in the comments section. Drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'll see you at the tables.